Hi. <clears throat> hello, hello. Hi, Clara. How are you? How are you guys doing today? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. You guys, come on, let's cook. Come on, let's cook. Come on, let's cook. How are you guys doing? Hello, Shwana. How are you? Let me turn this phone on so maybe I can read better comments over here because I'm on the other phone. Let me turn the volume down. Hello, Nima. How are you? Nima said, and 18 other people are waiting. Oh, hold on. Where is the comment? This phone don't have internet. I'm telling you guys. Oof. Okay. How you guys doing today? Y'all come on, let's cook. This one no bringing comments. Okay. Hi Jazz, how are you? Hi Lachelle. Hi Gino. Hi um Shawana, how are you? Jazz, how you doing? Marilyn, how are you? Uh Lash Lash Hell. <laughs> how you guys doing? Y'all you guys come on, let's cook. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. As you guys can see, I have three parts. Three parts over here. I have this one empty. I have this one, some boiling water <laughs> for rice. Then I have this one over here boiling with some turkey necks. I'm going to give you guys two recipes at once. Okay? How you guys doing? I'm going to do some potato leaves, then I'm going to do some curry shrimp. But let me start on the, this stove has been acting up. I can't wait for the new one. Okay. Okay, this one is on. So what about this one? Can you come on? Oh my God. Why these people sell me a rotten stove? I write him stuff. Now I have to, even this one not working either. This one is finished. So let me do the typical African way. <laughs> typical African way. I'm going to turn this and turn this on. <laughs> That's the typical, typical African way. So now you're going to keep quiet here. You have to keep quiet. How can I let this one keep quiet? It's like it's like all the buttons are working on one socket. So when you turn that one, this one come on. When you turn the other one, this one. You see, when you turn, this one supposed to be for this one boiling here. Now when I turn it off, it went off. You see? And this one is still on. This is crazy, guys. This is a ghost stove. <laughs> a ghost stove. A ghost stove. No, I want my fire high. So when I put it high, it's going to make noise. So guys, this part is for my curry shrimp. Everyone, everyone's way. Uh, what I mean? And she's laughing. I don't know. Sh Chandra, I don't know what do you mean. Everyone's way. I don't know what I mean. How you guys doing? Life, how are you? Life in America is watching. <laughs> Tell me about life in America, please. <laughs> uh, Loretta, how are you? You guys, come on. I'm waiting for you guys. We have to cook. So while I'm waiting, let me start cutting up some stuff. I'm going to start cutting up some peppers. How are you guys doing today? Tell me how was your day? How was your Wednesday? It feel like it feel like it feel like it's Thursday. <laughs> it feel like it's Thursday, guys. Y'all come on, let's cook. Oh, y'all know Chef Ruby recipes, right? If you don't pay attention, if you don't catch up fast, I swear you're gonna left behind. That's not good, and it's what? It's gas stove. Be careful. Yes, yes, I'm being very careful. I can't wait for the new one to come in. You know, so, but I'm going to manage what I have. I'm going to manage with what I have. 
They said always manage with what you have, you know? Before you get a new one, I'm just gonna manage with what I have. Chef Ruby recipes are so fast, so when you're watching me, make sure you pay attention. If not, you're gonna have to go back and watch the video because me, I'm a fast cooker. I'm not like those um, cooks that come in, they talk one by one, they don't want to show you something, they want to show you something, they don't want to explain something, they want to explain something, they don't want to share something, but they want to share something. Me, I'm here to share with you guys the whole recipe of what I'm cooking. So you have to pay attention to my recipe, okay? This is curry shrimp. Somebody was asking me for curry shrimp. So I'm making the curry shrimp. Trust me, when I do it like this, it's faster for me. Can you guys see? The cutting board is not working for me. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna put some coconut oil, coconut oil on this stove. I cannot read comments because I'm, I'm cutting up stuff, but uh, let me get a spoon. So we need some coconut oil in this part. Can you guys see? Let me turn this too. Okay, I'm putting coconut oil here. The fire down. So put in our coconut oil here. One more scoop there, that's it. Virgin, virgin coconut oil. You put it in your pot. Oh, yeah. It's making noise so. Okay. You're gonna let the coconut oil melt in your pot, okay? While it's melting, don't splash on me now, don't splash on me. You know what? Let me put some cut up onions in it while it's splashing. So you have cut up onions and bell peppers. Let me just put it in there. So this oil won't burn my face, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna let it cook while I'm cutting up the other stuff. How are you guys doing today? How are you? Um, oh my gosh, I cut my finger off. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot you cannot if um if you know how to do it you use to it there is no way you're gonna cut your finger off me as an african woman i'm used to this i know how to do it i'm familiar with a knife so don't get me wrong sometimes i cut myself sometimes i do cut myself but it is what it is it takes t two to three days the heel is gonna heal you know but if you don't know how to do it, that's why they have a cutting board for you to do it. A cutting board is right here. I'm not just used to the cutting board. I'm used to cutting with my, with my hands like that, that's why. So you go like this, you just go step by step, you cut up your fresh tomatoes. So what we have in this pot right now is onions and bell peppers, that's it, and coconut oil. Then cut up your fresh tomatoes on the side. You cannot cook coconut shrimp, coconut oil or coconut cream shrimp without fresh tomatoes. You need fresh tomatoes, guys. So I'm gonna put, that's one. I think I'm gonna put two fresh tomatoes. Make sure you take, make sure you take the butt off. Hi, how are you? Why you start without me? Hey, I didn't know if you was busy, maybe doing school work. So I didn't want to bother you. So guys, wow, you are so beautiful. How do you do it? Eh? <laughs> I'm doing potato leaf. Can you take the potato leaf out of the fridge and wash it out? Because I have to cut it up. Viola and just they on the way. So I'm going to finish cutting up. I'm putting two fresh pot uh, and tomatoes in this. Um, in what is rotten? It's not all. It's still fresh, it's the cold. Just put it in there, I'm gonna cook it. Open it, wash it up, I'm gonna cook it. So this is fresh tomatoes, you cut it up. Now I'm gonna take it and put it right here in the same pot. You have to make your stew before you put your meat in it. So this is the stew I'm making, okay? So, so far we have onions, bell peppers, 
I need paper towel. Let me go trash this. I'm coming. You cut like the African people. I I be don't cut my fingers. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, I'm going to get a cutting class maybe one day. One day I'm going to have a class for you guys to so come learn how to cut like me. It's so easy, trust me. If you know how to do it, mm, it's easy and simple. So guys, now this one is full. We need to touch it. Now I'm going to cut up my red onion. Everybody is forcing me to call this red onion. I call it purple. Purple onion. That's how I call it. But everybody says, Chef Ruby, that's red in here. It's not purple. You know, it's purple to me. So you're going to take it and put it in the same stew right here. Guys, Chef Ruby have the easiest and simplest. Easiest and simplest recipes. So simple. It's not contradictive hey today i'm speaking <laughs> how did you work that i try to use i cannot it's not contradictive right <laughs> chef ruby today i'm speaking today trust me last night you guys was laughing at me but today i got it i told you guys i'm gonna buy a dictionary i have my dictionary so i'm gonna start bringing some english words even you guys not gonna understand <laughs> I say purple onion so I know right Sandra they look purple and everybody is forcing me to call them red onions it's red onions call them red onions I said okay no problem it's red if you say red it's red okay now let me show you guys what I did look at this guys okay this is look at this beautiful saute onions bell peppers and red onions so we're gonna let this cook right here but we cannot let it cook just like that now we have to put our secret our secret is seafood seasoning you have to have this seafood seasoning to make this recipe guys so just go around like this just saute your onions we're gonna do like two scoop we're gonna do two scoop of this right so it's in there this is the seafood seafood flavoring the website is pain go to the website and order your seasoning this is the bomb seasoning seafood flavoring this is what i just put so we're gonna let this cook now we're gonna come over here you guys watch me i'm gonna blend i have um can you guys see i have ginger and like three or four habanero peppers in here okay now i'm gonna peel my ginger you have to have ginger i'm gonna peel my ginger this is my ginger right here peel your ginger fresh ginger sometimes <coughs> why the habanero pepper oh my god sometimes i use the um liquid ginger that i buy from Publix, but mostly i like my fresh ginger the fresh ginger is the best when you have that flavor in any food that you cook oh my god it's the bomb so i cut up my ginger right here can you guys see i'll put it here so we have ginger garlic and habanero peppers <laughs> it so we're not gonna we're not gonna put it just yet we're gonna wait a little bit while the stew is cooking so let me show you guys again the stew is right here let me mix thank you for the 1000 stars <coughs> man this habanero pepper is something else so now you're gonna come back here and mix you have so many different way to cook um curry shrimp this is one of my ways i'm cooking my curry shrimp always use coconut oil for that flavor if you want but if you don't want the coconut flavor if you are somebody 
that don't eat coconut, you can use regular vegetable oil or cooking olive oil, okay? So now we're gonna let this cook. Then I'm gonna work on my rice. Let me flip it again. I could eat that by, by itself, yes. This is something, uh, oh my God. Hey, <laughs> Godfather, this tastes so good. Oh my God. Whatever that person said, I could, uh, Carla said I could, I could eat it by itself. It's so true. This sauce, you can put it over rice and eat it. You can put it on bread and eat it, you know. But we're going to eat it with some rice. So let me start on my rice. My water is boiling already. So I'm going to put my rice in there. Where's my salt? Always put a little salt in your water. Always put a little salt in your water. Like two pinch of salt for the rice. But if you are somebody that don't eat salt, don't even bother with it. Just cook your rice, plain rice. Your sauce gonna gonna make the rice taste good. Let me bring my rice. white rice okay you put your rice in this water for those of you that don't know how to cook rice this is the make sure you boil your water first your best bet if you don't know how to cook rice is rice cooker get, get your rice cooker but if you don't have a rice cooker make sure you boil your water first put little salt in your water your connection you can even go ahead and put little oil in your rice so your rice don't stick together just put a little bit oil like that if you don't want your rice to stick together now you're going to go ahead and mix it again and just and just cover it and let it cook so let me show you guys this too guys let me show you guys one more time it's right here i have to flip you guys okay thank you for the stars this is my food curry shrimp looking looking awesome thank you i am really not a meat eater oh miss carla trust me with my seasonings you can you can eat any veggies of your choice you don't have to eat meat all the time so with this now we're going to take the garlic and ginger and habanero pepper and put it in there okay let me flip you guys again chef ruby can you make a prawn that that says come on come on let's eat and come on, let's eat. We'll, we'll <laughs> no, I'm going to make my apron that, that will say, allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. <laughs> oh, because my kids are still young and they're still in school. I cannot get the help that I need from them. And um, most of managers or whatever out there, most of them are crook. And you guys know me. My brain is kind of little bit. So I really need some genuine and honest people around me for me to go to the next step. But as for now, I'm going to go step by step, step by step. You have all of your seasonings, even, oh, uh, yes, I have all of your seasonings, even order them for my brother. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we have the habanero peppers, garlic, and ginger. We're gonna put it right here. Just go ahead and take it out. I want this spicy, so I put enough habanero. So now we're gonna take it out of this blender. Make sure you take everything out. This this is gonna taste so good, guys. Oh my god, I wish I can show you guys. I wish you guys can see inside this pot. Can you guys see? Let me turn this for now. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. So you put everything in there. Put this back here. Allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. So now you can mix, okay? So we have our onions. We have our fresh tomatoes. 
we have our uh, uh, red onions, ginger, garlic, habanero peppers, and coconut oil. So to make this little juicy, right? We're gonna put some coconut milk. Let me look for my opener. We have an opener. Where is my opener? Okay. I find it. So now we're gonna open this coconut milk. Okay. Let me open the coconut milk. Then I'm gonna put it in there just to make a little juicy a little watery or a little sauce so now we have this we put it in here let me show you guys put it in here you can you can put all or you can put half of it if you want so we're gonna put this coconut cream in here oh my god it looks so good and it's gonna taste so good right did you guys see that? Now you mix it. Oh my God, look at all these flavors coming together. Look at all these flavors. Don't forget to order my seafood seasoning. That's all you need in this recipe, okay? So, now we're gonna let it cook for a minute, maybe five minutes, then we're gonna put our shrimp. The bomb seasonings. Let me, this cassava leaf needs to go off for now. The potato leaves. So let me check on my rice, guys. This is the rice. Still cooking. The rice is still cooking. Just let your rice cook. So let me show you guys the sauce. This is the sauce. Can you guys see the sauce? Somebody say, hello, Chef Ruby. Sheila, how are you? How you doing? Charlene, how you doing? LaRonda, how are you? Karen, how you doing? Wynette, how are you? Karen, um, Sil Sylvan, how are you? This is the curry sauce. So while it's boiling like that, guys, you can go ahead and pour your clean shrimp in there. Oh, 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 oh God. Look at this, guys. Victoria, how are you? Tina, how are you? Mix it. Oh my God. This over rice, this over rice, you cannot beat it all. You cannot beat it, guys. Go ahead and mix it. Sauce look delicious. It looks fantastic. It looks fabulous. Till, wait till you see the end product. Do you have a website with your recipes? I bought your seasonings. <laughs> I don't have a website though. Any recipe you want right now, you can go to my page. Hi, mama. Hello, mama. <laughs> How are you, mama? Mama Comfort, how you doing? I miss you. I miss you. You see, you see this America? You live 20 minutes away from me. We cannot even see each other. <laughs> Sometimes we don't even have time to talk on the phone. This is the this is the country we we we, <laughs> we find ourselves in, you know. Chef Ruby, do you cook? Oh, uh, do, do you cook tobogi? Oh, uh, do you cook tobogi? Uh, we make it with garden eggplants and regular eggplants with with lots of habanero peppers. Yes, and um, that's are you from Liberia? I know the librarian people love tobogi, tobogi, tobogi. I'm gonna try to cook it one day. I am the kind of chef. If I don't know something, I don't mess with it. <laughs> I am the kind of chef. If I don't know something, I don't mess with it. I want to come see you this weekend. Okay, mama, you are welcome. Anytime, my door is open. Anytime, don't even call me. Just come. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> The door is open. Even if I'm not home, your grandchildren are here. They will open the door for you. Okay, mommy? Um, hello, Chef Ruby. You are truly blessed. Love love your cooking. Thank you, um, Tons. Thank you. Patricia, how are you? You are beautiful. Thank you. I miss you. Be strong. Encourage. Thank you so much. So, our sauce is cooking now. 
while it's cooking i'm gonna show you guys how i cut my potato leaf i'm only doing this some of this typical african food for most of my my foreigners but i'm not gonna say um african-american sisters because we have different different nationalities that marry to africans it's not only um african-americans we have different cultures even indians white so many cultures that marry to african brothers nigerian senegal ghana because because those three countries senegal ghana nigeria those three countries are so big and so popular you know and other west african countries maybe me i don't even know of they have women from different different countries that married to those african men you know they want to know how to cook some african dishes some caribbean dishes you know so i'm here to help you guys i i have the opportunity to be on this platform so i'm using it to help whoever i can help so i'm gonna go to my sink i'm gonna cut up these potato leaves while my shrimp is cooking because the shrimp is gonna take time let me show you guys it's gonna take maybe 10 to 15 minutes for this to be ready guys but look at it look at it if this oh god hey let me forget to hold on i forgot something let me get it now 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 that's why my soup flowing will look good <laughs> hey where is my curry i need my curry i need i need my curry I hope I didn't use all my curry. I know I have some curry here. Okay. Yeah, I find some rick. Where is my curry? Curry powder. Okay, I find my curry powder. So guys, I forgot the main, main, main ingredient for this recipe, which is my curry. You can use any curry. You can use any curry of your choice, guys. Let me flip you guys. You can use any curry. This is hot curry so this soup gonna be so hot i'm gonna put my curry in here i'm just gonna put everything that, that i have on this cup can you guys see so i'm gonna put some turmeric to make it more yellow don't put a lot of turmeric okay this is turmeric and this is curry so i just put a little bit of each now we're gonna go ahead and mix it I almost forget the main ingredient for this recipe, guys. Oh my God, look at it. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh my God, yes. Now, you can tell I'm cooking curry shrimp. Why nobody asks me, Chef Ruby, where is the curry? <laughs> nobody asks me, Chef Ruby, where is the curry? You know, cause I was talking so much to you guys. I forgot to put the main, main ingredients on this recipe. Look at this now, guys. Let me taste it for you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just wish any one of you guys was in this area. By now, I can just call and say, please, come be my witness, oh. Come. Desiree. Barbara, Rita, uh, um, Teresa, I will just call any one of you guys and say, please come be my witness. I want you to come taste this soup and just let my people know how this food tastes with only one seasoning, one seasoning, seafood seasoning. That's it. So my rice is cooking. Look at this rice, guys. Let me check on my rice. I have to check on my rice. Oh my God. The rice is cooking. We're going to let it cook. We're going to let the rice cook. The rice is almost done too. So, while the rice is cooking, I'm going to take you guys to my sink and go show you guys how I cut up potato leaves. I was wondering why you're not using curry. <laughs> Hazel, it's now you're saying it. <laughs> Gianna, I'm about to move to Atlanta so I can eat your food all the time. Please, come on. I'm waiting for you. I need a lot of people to be eating my food. So we're going to leave this cooking here for 5 to 15 minutes while I'm cutting up my potato leaves. I'm going to show you guys how to cut potato leaves. Okay? 
my sink is kind of dirty look at this fish let me show you guys something let me move this here can you guys see look at this fish this they call this um kidney fish this is fish it looks like a big snake but it's fish oh they call it kidney fish that's what we use that's what we use on our potato leaves, cassava leaves, and most of the African soups. So let me clean my sink. And then I'm going to bring you guys to the sink. Then I'll show you guys how I cut up my potato leaves. Like I was saying, for those of you guys, those of my sisters, it don't matter if you're an Arab, African American, Indian, any culture, you married to one of my African brothers, I'm here to help you to know how to cook some African dishes, all right? So let me show you guys how to cut up these potato leaves. I need a big pan. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this here, right here, I need cold water. So this is the potato leaves. You guys know these potato leaves come from the um, potato yam, right? Potato yam. Let me show you guys. You see this potato, guys? This is the leaves right here. This potato, this potato I boiled the other day. This is the leaves right here. And Sierra Leoneans, we eat it. We cook it as a soup, we eat it. So let me see if this knife is sharp. Now you're going to have to cut the, the, um, the trees. Some people, when they cut the trees, they plant the trees in their backyard for them to grow so that way they don't have to spend money all the time to go buy the potato leaf itself. Because this potato leaf, the Asian people, they know African people like it. So now it's so expensive. Can you guys see? I want you guys to see. Africans, especially Liberians, Sierra Leoneans, I don't know for other countries, but those two countries that I know, Gambians, we love these potato leaves. It's just like you cook in colored greens. But the only difference, colored greens, they cut it too big. But the potato leaves, you have to cut it small. That's the only way you can get it right. You have to cut it smaller. I don't know if this knife is, this knife is kind of dead. A little bit, let me try the other knife. Let me try the other knife. I need a sharp knife. So guys, I'm gonna try the other knife. So that's how you do it. You have to hold it tight on your hand. All of these knives are dead. I have to sharp them. Then you cut it. I'm gonna do it three times because I have only three ties on my hand. That's how you cut it. You have to take your time. So you don't cut yourself. I remember when my mom used to cut this, she used to go fast, 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 fast. I'm thinking, I say, what's wrong with this lady? This lady gonna cut herself. They cut, they have people that cut this. Oh my God, they don't cut themselves. In Africa, you gonna see that you watch them, you think it's machine. You think it's machine cutting it, but it's not machine, it's their hands. They go fast and small, tiny, 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 tiny. They have some talented people in Africa. I'm telling you guys. Hello, chef. Did you cook um, soul food? Um, most of my soul food I've cooked is mac and cheese. What soul food I've cooked? I have to do a soul food one day. Yeah. I have to do a full-blown soul food one Sunday. Maybe next week Sunday. I will do a full-blown soul food. Because I don't think I never show you guys my soul food. I'm going to cook my soul food. I think I've done lasagna. I don't know if I've done meatloaf. And what else? <laughs> what soul food do I know? <laughs> Next week Sunday, you guys let me know which soul food you want me to cook. Then I can cook it. So I'm going to the next one. It's only three ties. Make sure when you buy it from the farmer's market, they put, they put rubber on them. So put them together. So make sure you clean it very good. You wash it. You have to wash it. Because some of them, they have sand on them from the farm. Whichever farm they, farm they bring it from, they have um, sand on them. So you have to take it off. Before I do this one, let me sharp this knife quick. 
You have to sharp your knife. This is the African way. Okay. So now we're going to do the next one. You cut your trees or your roots. Those roots, you can use them. I don't have time to plant any potato leaves right now. I have four kids to take care of. I'm not going to take care of no potato leaf because you have to put water on them every day. You have to water them for them to grow. So I don't have that time right now. So what I do, I trash. I trash the roots. I just go ahead and trash the roots, guys. So anybody that want to get this potato leaf recipe, this is how you do it. But now they have an easy, an, another easy way. If you don't want to use your hand, you can use the blender. You can use the food processor. They have something in the food processor that you use to cut this fast. I've never tried though. I feel like if I do it in the food processor, it's not going to taste the way I want it. So I like to use my natural hands to cut it. Uh, Joy Jetta, um, thanks. I am gonna go look this week. She has been making those so much now. I want to try them. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead and try. Hi, uh, um, Jeanette. How are you? I, hi, Miss Pat. Hi, Doshan. How are you? How are you guys doing? Thanks for watching. This is an African way of cutting grains. You know, like you're cooking colored grains. I know colored grains, people use their hand and chop it up. Sometimes they use the knife, you know. But potato leaves, you have to cut it up with a knife. You cannot just chop it up and put it in the soup. It's not going to come out right. You have to chop it up like me. So now we're going to do the last one. But before I do the last one, let me go show you guys my, my sauce. That's how you cut potato leaves, guys. So let's come back here. Let me show you guys this beautiful curry. My God. Uh oh. It's ready. <laughs> Do you guys see how Chef Ruby cook? <laughs> Y'all don't play with Chef Ruby. I'm telling you guys. Look at this curry shrimp. Just so fast. Easy recipe, simple. You have a meal. You can come home from work with your family. If you want this to thick more, if you want to thicken this, you can just mix a little cornstarch and put it in here to make it thick. You know, you have your meal. This big habanero pepper, I'm going to eat it myself. So just leave it for another five minutes now. It's ready. Let me check on my rice. Hey, hey, guys, I'm going to show you guys a secret, okay? Let me show you guys a good secret on this rice. I'm going to have to put you guys right here. Stand right here, okay? Stand here. Don't fall. Uh-huh. Stand right here, guys, okay? So let me show you guys my secret. Where is my opener? I'm going to show you guys a secret. So... If you want to make your rice as, let me reach this one quick. So guys, I'm going to make my rice as beans and rice, okay? Now I'm going to smash some red kidney beans here. You have to squeeze it so you can smash it in there. I don't know if I should put two or just one. I think one is good. You have to smash it so you can mix it with the rice. It's in there. Hold on one minute. I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. This is another secret, okay? So, let me show you guys the other secret. Okay, you guys turn for one minute. Okay, this is the other secret. Right here. Y'all see my parsley? Cut the tail off. This is my parsley. Cut it up. Chop it. Can you guys see me? I want you guys to see me. Uh huh. You have the parsley right here. Chop up your parsley, guys. Okay? And go around and chop it up like this. Don't chop yourself, but chop the parsley right here. You move here. 
This is parsley. I have to buy those big, big chef knives. Those are the ones that go to chop up stuff. This one is too small. So guys, can you see? Okay, let me show you guys. We're gonna go back to the rice. Let's go to the rice. Let me put you guys up here again. Can you guys see the rice? So we're taking this parsley, we'll put it over the rice, okay? Can you guys see? <clears throat> Chef Ruby cooking look messy, oh boy, it's good. <laughs> Chef Ruby cook. You're gonna have some people. Let me raise my hands, I'm coming. <laughs> Damn, this lady is so messy when she cooks, but this lady food is so good, guys. Man, it makes you want to slap your grandma. Now you mix your rice. Look at this, guys. Look at this, guys. Oh my god, we have some oil on this rice. Just go ahead and mix your rice with this parsley and some beans. Can you guys see? I want you guys to see. Parsley, beans, and rice. You have to mix it right. Make sure you flip from the bottom to the top. Man, this rice and your curry, guys. Hey, hey. You gonna kill yourself today? You can make this yourself. This, are, this, this is the kind of rice you go to Chipotle. You get from Chipotle, guys. You can get this rice from Chipotle. You know what? I really want you guys to see. Very good. Yes. This can be Chipotle rice if you want. With that green cilantro. Why don't you cook it at your house? Fresh and fluffy. Don't forget you get shrimp on. Yes, my shrimp is on. My shrimp is ready. I'm gonna turn it off. My shrimp is ready. <laughs> Big Mo said, yes, we can see. Yes, we can see. It looks yummy. So let's turn this off. Now we're gonna continue to mix this rice because I want the rice all the rice to get the beans in that good cilantro in oh my gosh yes 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 okay good looks good looks good <laughs> oh my god the shrimp looks good hey chef mr willie c thank you <laughs> thank you so much rice and beans and cilantro we're gonna cover it and let it steam now my curry is done let me ask you guys a question do you guys want some veggies on the side do you guys want some veggies on the side let me see a yes let me see a yes <laughs> or let me see some stars I wish I had some. Come on, Karen. I'll give you some. Who want me to make some um, veggies on the side? Because I have some special veggies I want to make on the side. Who want me to make some veggies on the side? Okay. Alma said yes. Alma, send me stars. <laughs> That's right. That rice is so pretty. Thank you, Mr. Risa. Gina, you say yes. Gina, send me stars. Um, Joy, you say yes. I need stars. <laughs> Jacqueline, send me stars. Shirley, send me stars. <laughs> you, everybody said they want some veggies on the side. Okay, give me a minute. Let me look for another pot. I'm going to show you guys something. Chef Ruby is ready for you guys today. I'm going to make some veggies on the side. All right. Let me turn this on. So we have this on. Now we're going to put some olive oil. Put olive oil here, okay? I'm going to show you guys. Send me stars, then I can do some veggies on the side. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? So we're going to do some veggies on the side, guys. Then I'm going to, I'm going to dish one plate, then I will show you guys. Okay? So right here, 
We have some oil. We get in the oil warm. <laughs> thank you for the 200 stars. Thank you for the 50 stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's get this to 2,000 stars. So I have to get this to 2,000 stars so I can start the veggies. <laughs> We're going to do some veggies on the side, okay? Let's send stars right now so I can do some veggies. Let me go put this in the sink. Rashida! Rashida! Anaya! Anaya, my bikin. My bikin, come here. Hey, this kid, so I, I'm washing a plate so, because I have to eat when I'm done. I'm going to clean my plates now. Who wants some veggies? Who wants some veggies? I have some special veggies I want to do on the side. Who want the veggie? Who want the wall? Chef Ruby. Who want the wall? Chef Ruby. Who want the wall? Chef Ruby. Who want the cooking content? Chef Ruby. <laughs> I don't know how to sing. Okay, let's get to the veggies, okay? Thank you guys for the stars. So... Look what I have, guys. What is this? Who knows? Eh, 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 eh. Eh, don't burn me. Don't burn me. <laughs> okay, this is squash and onion. Right here. Squash and onion on olive oil. You want to let it cook? Oh my gosh. Chef Ruby said, oh my gosh. Let me go clean up something quick. You guys watch it. Let me clean up quick. You guys watch it. Let me clean up quick. You guys watch it. Let me clean up quick. Okay. So we have the veggies there. Now we're going to season these veggies with our famous all purple seasoning. Famous all purple seasoning. Make sure you season your veggies. Let me show you guys. I have to thank you guys for the 2000 stars. So this, the veggies are seasoned right now with this seasoning right here. All purpose flavoring. That's what we use. Go to the website and order zucchini swash melody. Yes, I cut up the zucchini with some onions. Now it's cooking. Just go around. It's only one seasoning that we we'll put on this. It's kind of slippery. Then now you just cook it to tender. Don't put anything else, guys. Only chef ruby seasoning. Thank you, Patricia, for the stars. Thank you. So, just make sure you let it cook. You guys wait till I eat for you guys. I have to eat for you guys. Right here, guys. Mix it up and let it cook. This seasoning going to change your kitchen game. This seasoning going to make the whole family love you. This seasoning gonna make your husband ask you, girl, where did you learn how to cook? <laughs> this seasoning gonna make your husband say, you know what? Tell me where you learn how to cook. Tell me who show you how to cook. The food never tastes like this so Why your food tastes better now? The bomb seasoning, only one seasoning. You don't need anything else. One, all purpose for any seafood. One seafood seasoning for any seafood that you cook, any all purpose for any meat that you cook, then the all purpose you can use it on your veggies. Look how pretty these veggies look. Guys, just imagine when they're done, then you take this and put it in your mouth. Oh my God, it's mouth watering. Mouth watering. That's what they say in English. Mouth water. What are they common at me months? <laughs> I cook that all the time. One of my favorite meal. 
Carla, please try my all purpose seasonings on this, okay? Nothing else. Just put any oil of your choice and try my all purpose seasoning. Trust me, Carla, you're gonna love, love, love. You're gonna wanna eat this every day. When I cook this at the shop, at the restaurant, they don't last all day. By the time you think about it, it's gone. So let me start plating my plate so I can eat for you guys. I need some food. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hold on on the potato leaf till tomorrow. I'm tired. I know everybody is waiting for the potato leaf recipe. So, we put some rice on the side. I don't wanna to put too much food. We put some rice here. We need a spoon for the curry chicken. Then we're gonna take some curry chicken, put it to the side, and uh, curry shrimp, sorry. So I put it just go the way she wants. And put some salt over your rice. Put some salt over your rice. My God. And okay, now, look at this plate, guys. This is my shrimp, my rice. Now I'm waiting on my veggies. So I can put some veggies on the side. Oh my God, this is a homemade guys. If you didn't cook for your family yet, make sure you go to the supermarket now and do and buy your stuff and come cook. It's so easy to cook guys. I know some of you are gonna say, I don't like kitchen, I don't like to cook. These are very, very easy recipes. You can cook for your family anytime that you want. It's so fast. So fast and easy. So fast and easy, guys. I'm gonna let it cook again. I just take some so I can eat. That's all we have for the recipe, guys. This is gonna make you slap your grandma, slap your mama. So let me show you guys my plates. This is my plate, guys. I have veggies on the side. I have rice, rice and beans and cilantro mix. Then I have my curry shrimp right here. Come on, let's eat. This is my veggies. For the vegetarian people, the ones that don't eat meat, you can make this for yourself and eat it. You can cook this rice. If you are vegetarian, you don't eat meat, cook this rice for yourself. Okay? So now we have the curry shrimp over here. This curry recipe, you can use chicken, you can use fish, you can use scallop, you can use lobster, any meat of your choice. Goat meat, you can use this same recipe for those meats, okay? And cook your food. Allow me to enjoy myself. 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 Hey, come on, let's eat, people. I'm going to eat now. Let me eat for you guys. Oh, be similar. Muslim people said be similar. Let me turn this down. Be similar. I have my curry. I have my rice. Oh, my God. You guys, come on, let's eat. The best recipes in the world. The best seasonings in the world. The best cook in the world. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. It's hot. I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. My. Gosh. That's all I have to say. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Come on. Who want to bite? Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 I'm not trusting. 
They live 20 minutes away. If you want a bowl, I can bring it to you. Hey, okay? My gosh. I'm not, I'm not screaming because it's my food, guys. Guys, I just... Eh, God. I wish. I wish somebody just live around here. Hmm. All the flavors, the curry, the coconut, the cilantro, the beans, the mixed veggies, all in one in your mouth. My God. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Hey, come on. Taste this nasma. Taste. Is this spicy? Taste it. It's not. Taste this. You put a habanero pepper. It's not spicy, man. Taste it. It's no, it's cilantro. Open your mouth. Don't kill yourself now. <laughs> Guys, this one going to kill herself today. Oh my god, this onion, eh? Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh. I don't think I want to go to the fair no more. Mmm. -mm. I want to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. Can I have the rest? Mmm. -mm. Go get your own bowl. Please. Mmm. -mm. Mmm. Have another spoon? Yeah. Don't tell me. Sit down, let me put it the other side. No, I have to go get ready. Well, who going to a fair? Me and Peter. Hmm? Yeah, and Lena's already on the way, so. Oh, Lena coming here? No, her mom's taking her to the fair. Hmm. Yeah, we're meeting there. Good Lena. Before you go. That's my everybody say hi. Say hi. Hey, my people. This food is ridiculous. This food. Oh, please. When I do this meet and greet, please. Come, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. Never in your life, you never regret it. The moment I put this ticket for sale, please grab this ticket and come. Even if it's your last money, just for you to come. It's good, 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 good food in your life. Come, you guys will see what Chef Ruby is saying. What this African lady is just. Talking about with her bad English, I just want to try it. Please, I'm begging you guys. I'm not saying this because it's my food all. But, for most of you that have received my seasoning, you guys know what I'm talking about too. For most of you that already start cooking with these spices, you guys know what I'm talking about. I cannot explain it. These seasonings are the bomb that come. I'm going to save this turkey next. Tomorrow, I'll cook the potato leaves with you guys. I already cut it up. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Then tomorrow, as soon as I come from the restaurant, we're going to cook the potato leaves together. Because right now, I'm tired. Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm going to eat this whole bowl by myself. But if you want to enjoy food like this, like Chef Ruby, please get these spices. This, num this two. Only two. All purple seafood. Get this, put it in your kitchen. Just try it. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Then go to my Facebook, get recipes one by one and start cooking. And start cooking. When you cook, follow my directions or my instructions or my recipe. So it can taste 99.9% .9 like mine. I love you guys. I appreciate the stars. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for showing us your recipes every day. <laughs> you are welcome, um, Gianna. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for liking me. Thank you guys for loving me. Thank you guys for supporting me. The sky is the limit. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. Sometimes I feel like stopping for real because I feel like maybe I cannot do it by myself. It's so many things that involve in this platform.
But for me, I'm not greedy. I'm going to take my time till God lead me to the right direction. Till God lead me to the right direction. So for now, I'm going to be comfortable with sharing my little recipes that I have and my little seasonings with you guys. Please go order your seasoning. Please share my page with people that you know. Tell people I need more followers. I want to go to 50,000 followers. So please follow, follow, follow. Tell somebody to follow somebody. Tell somebody to follow Chef Ruby. Tell somebody to... <laughs> so we can grow this family. This family needs to grow. This seasonings needs to go in the wall. Right now, they're just in this little box that we all bubbling. But this seasonings need to enter in any store in America. I'm not going to be shy of it. I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I'm going to be so proud of these seasonings. I'm going to put them like this on my head and walk around Sam's Club, Walmart, everywhere. I'm dancing like an African lady. Oh, oh, lo, lo, lo. Go, lo, lo, lo. Booga. <laughs> Please, you guys, come on. Let's booga. Eat, enjoy, laugh, and have fun, okay? Thank you. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Good night, my jewels. Good night. Love you guys.